Fremantle told me the concept. Um, and I was going, oh, that's perfect for me. Because uh, at that time, I was getting really well known for a style that I, I was developing. And that was like a lot of movement to photographs and photography. I would take uh, images and I would combine strobe with tungsten. And then I'd put the shutter speed of my camera at a slow shutter speed, like an eighth of a second or 30th of a second. And through the movement, um, it would blur and it would become soft and you'd have these uh, like striking like movement to pictures. So I was well known for that. So I believe that was obviously the reason why they called me because they wanted some kind of drama to, to what would be, could just be a, just a straightforward picture. I had tungsten light or incandescent light in the background on a canvas kind of thing and coming toward his hair. I had a red light on his hair. Uh, and it was, and the strobe, you know, up close with that movement, I remember that it was really beautiful. I shot the album cover in color and I remember getting the film back and looking at the chromes on a light box and just going, wow, these are gorgeous. So I was kind of shocked later on, months later when I actually saw the album cover and saw it in black and white and that they even kind of pixelated it because I, I thought there was probably probably different directions they could have gone with it so that's something probably has never been shared before personally I, I thought it would have been better in color yeah it was a dr dynamic in color at the last second I know Ford model agency called me and just said hey we have a long-haired model coming from LA he's on the flight right now he's coming into LAX I mean, I, I'm, I, uh, LaGuardia or something and um, you know I can send him right down to your studio and I said do it you know and he came in and he was perfect for the, the shoot his name was Sean Cross and um, he uh, um, we ended up becoming very good friends best of friends he was actually one of the groomsmen in my, my wedding actually and uh, we had quite a few different versions of it in on film but you know, with the fist, we had to work with the hand and just, just pushing enough because we didn't want the model recognizable or anything else, but it had to look real. So um, he was pushed quite hard, actually, because I really wanted it to look physical. So he was pushed really hard, you know, each and every time, but he was never punched, per se. Well, this is uh, the kind of camera I shot the job with. Uh, it's a Hasselblad. It's a two and a quarter uh, two and a quarter by two and a quarter, two and a quarter inches by two and a quarter. So it's square format camera, perfect for taking album covers. So um, not only that, it was my favorite camera to do commercial images at the time. So, um, and it's kind of a tough camera to use actually, but I got to, you know, it became like extension of my arm because I shot with it all the time. It, um, it actually, if you look down in it, everything's reversed. So you know, where, whatever direction you go, you have to go the opposite directions. And it's um, um, a cool camera though. To have something to stand the test of time is a, a, real, a real honor. Um, um, it, it feels good, it's, it's a great thing. Um, and I remember the shoot really well too, as you know, some shoots you have, you're just kind of like, you know, forget about, and, but that shoot was memorable. Yeah.